All right, what's up? Good afternoon, everybody. Um, today, I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side benchmark test on the brand new Nexus 9 versus the 2013 version of the Nexus 7. Um, both have the latest device-specific version of, Antu of uh, Elemental X custom kernel installed. Uh, neither device is overclocked currently, both at their normal maximum frequency, both governors are set to on demand so uh, both devices are rooted and custom in that regard all right so let's begin the side-by-side -side test I will pause the video until uh, both devices are just about done because this can be a lengthy process. Alright, the Nexus 9 just finished up and the Nexus 7 was lagging behind just a little bit. Uh, it's finishing the final graphics uh, benchmark <coughs> test now. Uh, as you can see, or maybe not, The Nexus 9 scored a 58,423. Let me try to get the brightness toned down a little bit. You might be able to see this a little better. 58,423 for the Nexus 9. And the Nexus 7 The Nexus 7 came in at 29.273. So, if you're thinking about upgrading your Nexus experience, by no means am I trying to state that the Nexus 7 is a wonderful device. The Nexus 7, I've had this for over a year and I absolutely love it. Um, just recently purchased the Nexus 9, and you can see that you know the the elevated price tag <clears throat> you're absolutely getting what you paid for the highest benchmark scores every time on N22 are from Nexus Knights 58 423 highest recorded score I actually was able to achieve a 59k last night um, but I went with Elementals Elemental X kernel because of the fact that you can um, you can disable automatic encryption on the storage of the device, which, as far as I'm concerned, is kind of a pain in the ass. So, support Elemental, downloaded stuff, uh, download Flars kernels, uh, go on the Play Store, purchase the Elemental, um, the Elemental X app to control all the, the customizable settings inside of your kernel. Great dev, great kernel, and Nexus 9. Great device. Sworn Leader signing out.